I will tell you is this. Uh, a wise man by the name Bernard Shaw says, some men see things as they are, and they ask, why? I dream of things that never were, and I ask, why not? So why not 360? The future does not belong to us adults. The future belongs to the young people. And how you make, how you present today, how you prepare for today, determines the future. I became interested in working with young students, whether it's the Africa Youth League, the Somali Students Association, or when you had invited me to your group to talk with you. Because I was in a meeting where adults on this campus talking about Africa, somebody said, we can go to Africa through China. And my response was, absolutely not. If we're going to go to Africa, we go to Africa direct. China is in 48 African countries, including Ethiopia. China has over 1 million of its citizens in the continent of Africa, working at various levels. Why not African-American students, African-American policymakers, African-American industrialists? If the past is prelude to the future, the continent of Africa is in the process of being recolonized. Look at the various reports. Harvard University, Vanderbilt University, and series of our other entities are buying up the lands, the fertile lands, in the continent of Africa. They're not buying them to grow food for me and for my family. It's for a specific reason. But what do we do with this information? Because that's barely what it is. What do we do with it? What is the purpose of education? Why are we here? Why did Professor Cash come into our lives the, the moment that he came? Why is he interested in helping you move forward? I have been blessed, like many of us here. Those are questions I can't answer, but I know this much. Whatever I can do, I am prepared to do to make your dreams come true. Thank you very much.